Today we are going to explore triangles a little further. We have already learned that we can have three types of triangles when they are classified by their angles. These three triangles are seen here. Obtuse, right, and acute. Some questions have come up about why there is only one obtuse angle in an obtuse triangle, one right angle in a right triangle, and but three acute angles in an acute triangle. We already know from class, when we explore triangles, that all of the inside angles of a triangle have to add up to 180 degrees. This is a simple answer to your question, but let's take a closer look at these three triangles and their angles. In this obtuse triangle, the obtuse angle measures at 120 degrees. If all of the angles have to add up to 180 degrees, what do we have left to work with? We see here that 180 minus 120 equals 60 degrees. So the other two angle angles have to be 30 degrees. In this right triangle, our right angle is 90 degrees. If we do the same thing for this triangle that we did for obtuse, 180 minus 90 equals 90 degrees. That would be another right angle, right? But we have two more angles in the triangle that we need to contribute to the 180 total degrees. This leaves us with 45 degrees for each of the other angles. Now let's take a look at the acute triangle. The definition for an acute triangle is that all angles are less than 90 degrees. If one of our angles measures 60 degrees, that leaves us with 120 for the other two. In this triangle, the other two angles are 60 degrees as well. So essentially, you need to always remember that the angles in a triangle need to add up to 180 degrees. As we continue to explore and learn about triangles, you will also begin to see a correlation between the angles and their specific degrees, and the length of their opposite sides. Because of this rule, you can only have an acute equilateral triangle. All of the angles have to be the same in order for the sides to be the same length.